today, boys and girls, we're going to be continuing with our subtraction word problems. And today, our success criteria is that you want to be able to solve a one-step subtraction word problem using a strategy with a change unknown. So I want you to just think about that for a minute. What do you know about the change unknown in any kind of word problem? So I know that when I have to set up my equation for my word problems, that the first blank is the start, it's the number I started with. The second blank is the change, it's what change did I add or subtract. And the third blank is the result, so it's what I end up with. If I'm adding, it's my sum. If I'm subtracting, it's my difference. Um, so I'm going to read through the word problem, and I want you reading along with me, and I want you thinking, where would you put each number, or what don't you know as I'm reading this problem? So Jessica had 46 dimes in her piggy bank. She takes some dimes out. Now she has 31 dimes. How many dimes did she take out of her piggy bank? So I just want you to stop a minute. I want you to pause the video right now. And I want you to fill out in your notebook, in your, in your um, notes, what you know about this. How would you fill out this equation? So just take some time, pause it, and fill it in, and then come back. Okay, so after you pause the video, Ms. Melissa's going to walk through her thinking, okay? And I want you to see if your thinking matches my thinking on how you would set up this word problem. So it says, Jessica had 46 dimes in her piggy bank. So I know Jessica is starting out with 46 dimes. So I'm going to put that in my start. Well, then if I read the second sentence, it says, she takes some dimes out. Okay. In thinking of that, it says she takes some dimes out. It doesn't tell me how many dimes she took out. So this sum, I don't know. So I'm going to put that my change is unknown. And I know if she takes some dimes away from the 46 she had, then that means I'm going to be subtracting. Now she has 31 dimes. Well, I know now she has 31. So she, after she started with 46... She took some away, and so now she has 31. So that's my result of what she has left after she took some out of her piggy bank. So right now my equation is 46 minus something, question mark, the unknown, equals 31. Well, right now, if you have 46 and you try to take something away or question mark away, can you do that? No, I can't. So I want to think about how can I rearrange this equation so that I can solve and figure out this unknown number. So if I'm thinking about this, I know that I want to move my question mark over here to the result because that's what I want to figure out. That is my unknown right now. I don't know how much I got rid of. Um, and so again, if I'm looking at 46, I'm going to 31. So I know that I'm still going to stay with starting with 46. It's what I had to begin with. And when I look at what's left, I'm going to take 31 away because I want to subtract so I can figure out how many I took. So I have 46 minus 31 equals something. So I'm going to use a number line today to figure this out. So I'm going to draw my line. And remember when I do a number line and I'm doing subtraction, I start at the right and I jump backwards because I'm taking away. So in this case, I start with 46. And if I look at 31, I know I'm going to take away three tens. So I'm going to do three jumps for 10. So I know this is taking away 10. Each of these jumps are taking away 10. Remember when you do a number line, you cannot have any gaps. I can't have any spaces because I want to land right on that number and start from that number and jump again. So I know if I have 46 and I take 10 away, that's going to get me with 36. 36 minus 10 is going to get me to 26. And 26 minus 10 is going to get me to 16. Well, if I look, I took away 30, but I still have one to take away. So I'm going to take away that one. And I know 16, take away one is 15. So when I did 46 minus 31 on my number one, I got to 15. So that is my result. My result is 15. So I would say, I'm going to go back and check this. 
I'm going to go back. I got 15, and I'm going to check it and see if 46 minus 15 that I now know is going to get me 31. So I know that I want this is my check. I want to check that 46 minus 15 does equal 31. So I know that if I have 46, so I have 46, I'm going to take away 15, so take away 5 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then if I take away 110, one, I see that I'm left with 1, 1, and 1, 2, 3, 3 tens. So in my check, my number is 31. And that's what I wanted my result to be. My original result said that she had 31 dimes left. So my check of 46 minus 15 showed me that when I did 46 minus 31, getting that 15 was correct. So I now I'm going to write my solution sentence since I know that she took out 15 dimes. So I'm going to write that. I'm going to say she took 15 dimes out of her piggy bank. Right, so that is how I would solve the change unknown word problem. Make sure to check and make sure to to double check that when you're drawing or doing your number line, you're not leaving any gaps for number line and that you're not miscounting how many you're taking away.